Distress Equipment, Marine VHF Radio, very high frequency. A Marine VHF radio is generally the best way of sending a distress signal. If you have a VHF radio, keep it tuned to channel 16. If you're buying a new VHF radio, make sure that it has a new digital selective calling service. That's a DSC feature on channel 70. This provides automatic digital distress alerts. The Canadian Coast Guard provides a DSC channel 70 service on the east and west coast, as well as on the Great Lakes and the St. Lawrence River. Remember, VHF radio channel 16 is used for emergency and calling purposes only. Once you contact the other vessel on channel 16, switch over to the other working frequency. VHF channel 70 is used for DSC digital communication, not voice. Use your VHF radio as described in the VHF radio telephone practices and procedures regulations. Your owner's manual will explain how to make a DSC call to another vessel or a shore station that has DSA capabilities. Although you may be able to get search and rescue assistance from the nearest Canadian Coast Guard Marine Communication and Traffic Services Center by dialing star 16 on your cell phone, it is not the best substitute for marine radio. This is not the best way to issue a distress call. The reason is that cell phones can lose their signal or get wet and damaged. Calling from your cell phone does not alert nearby vessels that you are in distress. Some cell phone signals cannot be traced back to the location of the rescuer. Not all cell phone providers offer that star 16 service. Find out if this service is available on your phone. When in extreme danger, for example, if your boat is taking on water or you are in danger of sinking or capsizing, use your VHF radio channel 16 and say, Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Then give the name of your boat, its position, the nature of your problem and the type of help that you need. If you need help but you're not in immediate danger, for example, your motor has quit and you cannot reach shore, use channel 16 and say pan pan, pan pan, pan pan and give the name of your boat, its position, the nature of your problem and the type of help that you need. All VHF marine radio operators must have a restricted operator certificate. GPS or Global Positioning System The GPS is a worldwide radio navigational system made possible by a network of satellites and monitoring stations. Its receivers can calculate where you are anywhere on the planet within 30 meters. While more and more boat operators rely on marine GPS to tell them where they are on the water, it's still a good idea to keep charts on board, just in case the GPS fails. With the aid of nautical charts, whether part of the GPS or not, the boater can find his position on the map and thus on the water. If charts are part of the GPS, it's important that you have backups of paper in case the GPS malfunctions. It's highly recommended that you use a fully charged battery system to allow peak performance of the GPS. Be careful not to drop it in the water as most GPS are not waterproof. Watertight flashlights. Make sure that the batteries in your watertight flashlight are fully charged before every trip. If you lose power, a watertight flashlight may be your only way to signal for help. Watertight flashlights may also qualify as navigation lights on non-powered vessels of less than 7 meters. Flares. Use flares only in an emergency. Always read the manufacturer's instructions before using flares. Aerial flares should be fired at an angle into the wind. If the wind is strong, the firing angle must be reduced. Flares should be kept within reach and stored vertically in a cool, dry place, such as a watertight container, to keep them in good working condition. There are four types of approved flares. The rocket parachute flare creates a single red star, reaches a height of about 300 meters, and comes down slowly with a parachute, is easily seen from the ground or the air and burns for at least 40 seconds. The multi-star flare creates two or more red stars, reaches a height of 100 meters or so and burns for about four or five seconds and is easily seen from the ground or the air. The hand flare. This is a red flame torch that you hold in your hand. It provides limited visibility from the ground. It's best used to help air searchers find you and burns for at least one minute. 
And finally, the smoke signal creates a dense orange smoke and can be only used during daylight hours. When buying distress flares, look for the Transport Canada approved stamp or label. Remember that flares are only good for four years from the date of manufacture, which is stamped on every flare. Ask the manufacturer how to dispose of your outdated flares. Visual flares are not required for boats up to six meters and for human powered boats. Flares are not required for boats that will never be more than one nautical mile from shore, have no sleeping quarters, or is engaged in an official competition or in the final preparation for an official competition.